In this video, we will be making a very simple coat rack. We'll be starting in the front view in 2D wireframe, and we'll have on ortho, object snap, and object snap tracking at the bottom of the screen. We'll start by selecting a polyline, and we'll start that polyline at the origin point at 0, 0. We'll bring the line up about 68 inches, off to the left a quarter inch, 0.25, back down 68 and see for close. Once we have that, we can use rotate, select our polyline, enter, select our base point down in the corner and type in negative 5 degrees. Once we have that tipped off to the side there, we could come to a southwest isometric view to take a look at it in a three-dimensional angle. To make this 2D to 3D, we'll do extrude, select our polyline, enter, and type in one inch for the height. All right, now we have a three-dimensional shape. I'll make sure my UCS is back to the world view. I am going to change my elevation up to something like 68, just so I get a little closer to the top of my coat rack here. Then I will pick a circle and I will give it a 2 inch radius. Then I'll do another circle starting at the same center point and coming out 3 this time. I will do extrude and extrude the smaller inner circle up a few inches, maybe 4, to give me something really easy to grab. And then I will extrude the outer circle up just 0.25. I will then subtract the inner circle from the outer circle. So first I pick the outer circle, enter, and then the tall inside one, enter. I can then move this circle from its quadrant point here to the midpoint on my leg. I could move it again, straight out another quarter inch, just to give me a little more breathing room there. I will then use polar array, select my leg, enter, specify the center point, number of items, I, and I'll take three, enter again. Now I have my basic shape created with three legs. Now I need to actually create the pieces for the coats to hang on. I'm going to go back into a front view. I will grab a polyline again and I will create a line that's five inches tall. 0.25, back down 5, and C for close. I will then rotate this shape 45 degrees. Going back to a southwest isometric view, I will then extrude at 1 inch. Just orbit around that so I can see. Then we will move our new small piece from its midpoint here to the midpoint here. Go back to UCS World View, do another array, this time selecting these shorter 5 inch pieces, enter, pick my midpoint again. And this time, number of items, I will do six. So we should have something that looks about like this. I could change it from 2D wireframe to conceptual and do a 3D orbit to look around my new coat rack. All right.
that looks pretty nice.